Epic Games gained support from Microsoft in their fight against Apple and Fortnite is coming back to iOS. Let's have a look right after this. The Epic vs Apple war in the courts is gaining some traction and support. Well, not Apple, but Epic Games is definitely gaining some support. Who are they getting from? 35 different US states from the Electronic Frontier Foundation, public citizens, and 50 academics, among many more, and the biggest of them all, Microsoft. Yes, Microsoft is going to support Epic Games in their fight against Apple and their dominance and control of the iOS ecosystem. Epic Games has started antitrust lawsuits in US, Europe, and the UK along with Australia in an attempt to take away all of that control that Apple has over their iOS platform and ecosystem. Microsoft believes that the courts failed to recognize and realize what is really going on. And it was stated, if Apple is allowed to step between any company with online services and users of iPhones, few areas of the vast mobile economy will be safe from Apple's interference and eventual dominance. Consumers and innovation will suffer. Indeed, they already have. The district court's reasoning failed to give sufficient weight to these immense competitive risks and if broadly affirmed, could in insulate Apple from antitrust scrutiny and embolden further harmful conduct. Microsoft even went ahead and compared Apple to what AT&T was doing prior to their shakeup in 1982. Apple continues to take a 30% cut from all the developers that are releasing things on their iOS ecosystem. Fortnite is still banned from iOS, so you can't play it on Apple devices. So how exactly is it coming back to iOS? Well, Nvidia and Epic announced that they've been working to develop a touch-friendly version of Fortnite for mobile devices that's playable directly from the cloud. They will have a closed limited time beta for Fortnite on mobile through GeForce Now coming up this coming week. Those of you that already have GeForce Now can sign up, register, and be allowed to play in this limited time beta. They haven't announced an exact date when it'll roll out to all GeForce Now users, but it is coming soon. The Apple vs Epic war will continue on in the courts and until that's settled, this will be the only way for iOS Apple mobile device players to be able to gain access to Fortnite and play along. Hopefully both companies can come to a mutual agreement and Apple can start playing a little nice with developers and especially with Epic Games. Well, we can keep hoping and until that happens, GeForce Now will be the only option for gamers to be able to play it directly on Apple devices for now. That's it for this one. Hope you all enjoy. Take care. See you all in the next one.